uh, ang 666 po ba ay nasa Roman Catholic? Alam niyo yung 666 is a is a number which we have to understand. There's a be, very great a very great thing or deal about those numbers. Let us read it first. In the book of Revelation chapter 13 verse 16 it says, and he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, mm. and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Here is wisdom. Let him that understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. And his number is six hundred three score and six. You see, you will not be confused if you are going to follow the scriptural direction. This number is present in a man. It is not present in every man, but in a man. Whose man is this? Who is this man? He is a powerful man. He causes all people, small and great, free and born. And uh, uh, the great and the the base things of this world be marked on their right hand and in their foreheads. He is the one who commanded people to be have the mark in their right hand. Even if you are left-handed, you will not use your left hand, the dominant hand, but you are going to use the right hand in complying with the requirement of the beast. And that is. The mark in the right hand and in the forehead. See. Now, this came from that man who had that number six hundred sixty-six, six hundred three scores and six. One score is twenty. Three scores is sixty. So six hundred three scores and six is six hundred sixty-six. It is present in a man, a powerful man, and the Bible is speaking of religious terms. So this is not a political person; he is a religious person. You know, the theme of the scriptures is uh, is religious. So you can find this man in religion. And what does this mean? Here is wisdom. Eighteen. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. And the number is six hundred three scores and six. You see, if we use understanding, scriptural understanding, that is, number seven is a perfect number. God made this world in seven days. He rested upon all the things that He had created. Imagine the vastness of the universe, the nebulae, the galaxies. The stars, etc., etc., all those greatness that we can imagine only sometimes. Those people who have a look at the Hubble Space Telescope have had an idea of how great or vast the universe is. But for ordinary people like us, we can just imagine from pictures how great the universe is. And the God who made all these things in the universe is a very great God. All creatures, great and small, all things wise and wonderful, the Lord God made them all. Cada nota que el viento murmura, cada rayo de luz en el sol, cada flor en la verde llanura es un himno la gloria de Dios. Es un mundo un lira sublime que modula un eterna canción. Si suspira, si canta, or si gime. Siempre, siempre, la gloria de Dios. See, God made them all. In seven days He rested. So number seven is a perfect number. Amen. Number six represents an imperfect number. Let us discover when is that doctrine making the sign of the cross made or promulgated by the Catholic Church and the, what? Is its importance in their faith? Let us look not from gossips, but from books of the Catholics. May you put that on our screen, please? This is the book of uh, the Catholics, Discourses on the Apostles' Creed, by Reverend Clement H. 
Croc, page 17. Mm. This is the very book. We have enlarged it through computer, so we will be reading to you the very book which the Catholic Church have produced. And in this book says, And St. Teresa states that Satan had no power over the cross, nor over any object over which the sign of the cross has been traced. It is the Christian's strongest and most powerful weapon against Satan. So, the sign of the cross is a powerful tool of the Catholics, as their fathers, as their authority explained, is the most powerful tool against Satan. Let us prove that further in a Catholic book again, in Tagalog, which is called the Catechismo, of the Catechism of the Catholic Church in Tagalog. Let us read that. My Kling, Catechismo, page 3. Nihilobstat ni Padre J.C. Abriol, imprimator ni Padre Hernando Antiporda. Ang tanda ng Santa Cruz, ang tanda ng Santa Cruz, ang ipag-adya mo sa amin, Panginoon naming Diyos, sa mga kaaway namin. See, what is the use of the sign of the cross? It is a tool so that the one using it will be saved from their enemies and opponents. And the, ver the very first opponent is Satan. So when you make the sign of the cross, as the Catholic doctrine says, you are using a tool which is very powerful against Satan. But I wonder why, if Catholics are inside the church, or even uh, outside the door of the church, of course, if they are traveling, they are in a vehicle that crosses over the area of a church, they make the sign of the cross. Implying that there are evils there. <laughs> See? When a Catholic faces a, a graven image of an alleged saint, they use the sign of the cross. If you are going to hit by the doctrine of the Catholic Church itself, you must not use that in a church because that is the most powerful against Satan. <laughs> is it not a contradiction, my brothers and sisters here? You, using that sign of the cross in front of a saint or in front of an altar or in front of anybody who is not an enemy is... It's something which is wrong. You are committing a great mistake, as your doctrine have said. And I have investigated all the doctrines of the Catholic Church, and I have found no more explanation about that except these things. That the sign of the cross, according to St. Teresa, which is believed by Catholics, that the sign of the cross is the most powerful tool against Satan. Then I am not a Satan for you to use the sign of the cross in front of me. If I am a priest, then the priest will answer. En el nomini patri et fili et spiritu sancti. See? What is the presumption then? It's up to you to interpret. I must not interpret it. It is based on the doctrine of the Catholic Church. See? You have to investigate, really. You have to ask a priest. Now, if the priest will offer another answer, prove that that is ecclesiastical, meaning that it came from Rome. Because these things we are telling you or reading to you, bears the nihil obstat in imprimatur, meaning it was printed by the highest, by the permission of the highest authority of the Catholic Church. It is not a book that was just purchased everywhere, that can be purchased anywhere. It is a book approved by the highest of authorities in the Catholic Church, bearing the nihil of stat and imprimatur mark. You see that? That's the answer. I hope you are satisfied with my answer.